I remember watching a shuttle launch one day and my father came up to me and said, do you want to work for NASA? I said, yes, I do. And he said, well, that's great. You need to be an engineer. And of course, my dad was an engineer. I followed my dad's advice that he gave to me at an early age about being an engineer and went to the George Washington University in Washington, D.C. Uh, and then about midway through my engineering curriculum, I had a lot of friends who were actually pre-med engineers. And they said, Serena, you need to, you need to think about medicine, you'd be a great doctor. And so during college, I actually spent a lot of my time teaching martial arts. I um, learned Kung Fu when I was in high school and in undergrad, I was looking for a little bit of a job and, and looking for a school to train at. And so I, I found a school in the southeast part of DC, not the best part in the world, but um, really good instructors. And I used to take the Metro uh, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday from uh, GW's campus down there. Um, I started training there myself just to have more physical fitness. And then they said, hey, we thought you'd be really good with kids. Would you mind teaching a kids class on Mondays and Wednesdays? After finishing my undergraduate degree in electrical engineering, um, I was accepted to University of Texas uh, Health Science Center at Houston, their medical school, right in the medical center, and started my medical training there. Um, when I was a fourth year medical student, I knew I wanted to do a rotation at NASA, but when I came down in October of 2000, I learned that there was a special program that combined internal medicine, which is medicine for adults and, and what I love, with aerospace medicine. And that program existed at the University of Texas Medical Branch at Galveston. My personal journey, you know, it started off as an engineer, turned into a physician, which I absolutely love. And a lot of people say that the journey along the way is the best part in getting to your end destination. And, and it really has been, because I absolutely love um, being a doctor. Uh, but at the same time, since I was little, I've always wanted to be up there. I've always wanted to be in space. So I worked space station operations uh, in mission control, or FICR-1, as we call it for space station. Spent a lot of time in Star City looking after the astronauts who were training out there. So I got a little bit of a preview as to what their lives were like. So I do work as a Capcom. One of my favorite jobs, actually. I love talking to the crew because I know they're up there, they're working hard, and sometimes just hearing a friendly voice is really nice. So I have been to Antarctica, and that was one of my neatest analogs. I did that from the 2010 to 2011 season. So I spent two months in Antarctica and six weeks um, living on the ice in a tent. We had a mountaineer who was the leader of our team, a very small team of four, um, and we were by ourselves. There's no bugs, there's no ants, there's no animals. Unless you're near the coast, then you have the seals, you know, and you have the penguins. I still have dreams at night where I hear the wind hitting the tent. Um, and when the wind's not blowing, it's just absolutely silent. There's nothing out there but you and the ice and your tent mates. Five things that you probably didn't know about me. Probably number one, our family has two dogs who, who really think they are brothers. And one is a 130 pound French Mastiff named Boss Hog. And the other is a 12 pound miniature Dachshund named Oscar. And they run around together and they think they are absolute brothers and absolutely the same, but they are absolutely the heart and soul of our family. Number two. Uh, our family absolutely loves to watch Aggie baseball. It's one of the favorite things that we do together as much as we can, certainly during baseball season in the spring. And in fact, it was the last thing we did uh, before coming out to Russia to prepare for launch. We watched the Aggies play baseball at the University of Tennessee. Number three, uh, I actually do still practice medicine. I'm an active physician, and one of my favorite places to see patients is at a free clinic in Galveston, Texas, uh, where we practice medicine for uh, the underserved and those who can't afford medical care and do not have insurance, and that's at St. Vincent's House in Galveston, Texas. Completely student-run free clinic, but it's one of the joys. Um, I love going there, and I love seeing my patients, and it allows me to teach medical students and residents um, really how to practice medicine in an underserved environment and something I enjoy doing every week when I'm able. Number four, uh, my husband and I had a very non-traditional wedding on a thousand acre ranch and part of our wedding reception we actually had a rodeo event and there was a big calf roping event that occurred and most of our guests say they had never ever been to a wedding or a reception like that but thought it was the best thing they'd ever been to. Final one, number five, something many people do not know about me is that when I was uh, getting my bachelor's degree at the George Washington University, I also needed to work to earn some money. And so I actually taught martial arts. I taught Kung Fu to school age kids from age five to about 15. And I would do that three times a week. And that's how I earned money in college, teaching martial arts. Mm -hmm.